Hi, welcome to our channel of Igno Audio Books, Indira Gandhi National Open University, School of Computer and Information Sciences, SOCI, Certificate Programs. Certificate in Information Technology, CITCIT 003 Web Based Technologies and Multimedia Applications. Block 1 Internet Concepts. Unit 1 Internet, an Overview. 1.0 Introduction The earliest computers were machines built to make repetitive numerical calculations that had previously been done by hand. While computers continued to improve, they were used primarily for mathematical and scientific calculations and for encoding and decoding messages. Computer technology was finally applied to printed Communication in the 1970s when the first word processor was created. At the same time, computers were becoming faster, more powerful and smaller, and computer networks were developed for interconnecting computers. In the year 1960 the Advanced Research Projects Agency, ARPA, of the U.S. Department of Defense, along with researchers working on military projects at research centers and universities across the country, developed a network called the ARPANET for sharing data and processing time of uniform computer connection over specially equipped telephone lines and satellite links. Today, the Internet is the widely known computer network. It uses interconnection of computer systems by both wired and Wireless Internet can carry any digital signals, including video images, sounds, graphics, animations and text. Therefore, it has become very popular communication tool. Now, Internet is a worldwide network of computer networks which connects schools, universities, institutions, hospitals, research institutes, government, commercial, and other computers. There are thousands of networks and millions of users on the internet, with the numbers expanding daily. Using the internet, you can send electronic mail, email, chat with colleagues around the world, obtain information on a wide variety of subjects and lots more. The networks or computers operating in different platforms are connected to internet by a common protocol known as Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol, TPEEP. 1.1 Objectives After studying this unit, you should be able to identify how the internet came into existence, explain different advantages and tools available through internet, recognize different software and hardware components used to access internet, Elucidate the purpose of protocols used in Internet. Recognize different type of addresses used in Internet. Find different methods that can be used to connect with Internet, and Set up the dial-up connection for connecting to Internet. 1.2 Evolution of Internet Internet is made up of thousands and thousands of interconnected networks, although it has become extremely popular in the last decade. It came into being only in 1967. Internet has a very interesting history. The following section traces the evolution of Internet. 1.2.1 Brief History The history of Internet is from the era of Cold War. The launch of Sputnik, the first satellite, by USSR, Russia incited the USA to form the Advanced Research Projects Agency, known as ARPA in the U.S. Department of Defense, 000, in 1958 to recoup a technical lead. In the mid-1960s, the Advanced Research Projects Agency, ARPA wanted to FMD a way to connect computers so that their funded researchers could share their findings. In 1967, ARPA proposed its idea for ARPANET, a network for RL connecting computers. Soon, scientists using the ARPANET realized that they could see 
5.6 send and receive messages as well as data and files over the network. The ARPANET became the first major electronic mail network. Soon thousands of researchers all over the world used it. Later on, the National Science Foundation, NSF, of USA helped connect more universities and non-military research sites to the ARPANET, and renamed it to Internet because it was a network of networks among many different organizations. In 1972, Wind Surf and Bob Kahn, who were part of Core ARPANET Group, started Interneting project with the aim to connect different networks together. Diverse Interfaces, different packet sizes, diverse transmission rates presented many Difficulties Conserve proposed the idea of gateway as an intermediate hardware to transfer data from one network to another. In 1973, they presented the outlines and model of TPEEP. At this time, responsibility of ARPANET was handed to Defense Communication Agency, DCA. In 1978, noticing the popularity of BSD, Berkeley. Software Distribution, Unix, which included network capabilities, ARPA signed a contract with Berkeley under which TCP-LP software was incorporated in the operating system itself. In 1983, original ARPANET protocols were abolished and TCPEEP was made de facto standard for Internet. The first TCPEEP network was made operational. By January 1, 1983 when all hosts on the ARPANET were switched over from the older ARPANET protocols to TCP IP 1.2.2 growth. Internet and WWW, World Wide Web, are often used as synonyms of each other. Which is technically wrong. The Internet is a collection of interconnected computer networks. In contrast, the web is a collection of interconnected documents and other resources. The World Wide Web is one of the services accessible via the Internet, along with various others including email, file sharing, etc. The World Wide Web is an Internet-based distributed system of information sources and information subscribers. The World Wide Web is often abbreviated as the Web or WWW. The Web provides a point-and-click interface to text, images, sound and movies that has proven to be powerfully intuitive and easy to use. After the invention of WWW in 1989 by Tim Berners-Lee at Physics Laboratory, CERN, the Internet scenario has changed drastically. In 1991, CERN publicized the World Wide Web project. Key of WWW was the use of hypertext, of a document that when selected, take the user to a connected document. The initial purpose of the web was to use networked hypertext to facilitate communication among its members, who were located in several countries. It was soon spread beyond CERN, and a rapid growth in the number of both developers and users ensued. In addition to hypertext, the web began to incorporate graphics, video, and sound. An early popular web browser was Viola WWW. It was eventually replaced in popularity by the Mossad web browser. Mosaic was a great innovation for the web. It came in 1992 which displayed not only the text of a web page, but embedded graphic elements as well. The nature of the internet changed suddenly in 1992. When the U.S. government began pulling out of network management, and commercial entities offered Internet access to the public for the first time, this change in focus marked the beginning of the Internet's amazing expansion. By late 1994, there was growing lick interest in the previously academic, technical Internet. By 1996 usage of the word Internet had become common ply, and consequently, so had its misuse as a reference to the World Wide Web. Meanwhile, over the course of the decade, the Internet successfully accommodated the majority of previously existing public computer networks. During the I-990s, it was estimated that the Internet grew by 100% per year.
The use of the web has reached global proportions and has become a defining aspect of human culture in an amazingly short period. 1.3 Advantages of Internet Before 1995, the term Internet was anonymous to most of the people in India. However, today Internet has become the powerful tool for people. The Internet is a collection of various facilities, tools, applications and resources. Although, many people think email, chatting and web surfing as the main elements of Internet but there are lots more. Today, Internet has brought the world on your desktop. Right from news across the world, wealth of knowledge to shopping, purchasing the rail, movie or air tickets everything is at your mouse click. It also became the most excellent business tool of modern scenario. Several activities can be performed if you have access to the internet, like you can use it for learning or teaching, you can use it for publicity and advertisement, you can refer internet for career or job consultation, etc. Let us discuss about some of the facilities, tools, applications and resources available on the internet. 1.3.1 Information Sharing Information sharing undoubtedly is the biggest advantage that Internet is offering. On Internet, you can communicate with a person sitting in the other part of the world in a fraction of second and in a more cost-effective way. Today for better communication, you can avail the facilities of email, you can chat for hours with others. There are a number of messenger services and offering. With the help of such services, it has become very easy to establish a kind of global friendship where you can share your thoughts, explore other cultures and ethnicity. People can post and publish their ideas, thoughts, feeling, advertisement, knowledge, etc. on internet through websites, blogs, discussion forums, groups. You can almost find any type of data on almost any kind of subject that you are looking for. There is a huge amount of information available on the internet for just about every subject known to human, ranging from government, law and services, trade fairs and conferences, market information, new ideas and technical support. The list is endless. We have used number of terms like discussion, forums, blogs, chatting etc. in the above text, maybe some of you are not familiar of these, let's discuss them in more detail. World Wide Web, www The World Wide Web, www or the web, is the best internet information sharing system, with fresh resources being added daily. The web browsers like Internet Explorer Mozilla or Netscape are used to access web pages. A web page can contain text, graphics, audio and video added by authorized people which are generally written in special language called as hypertext markup language, HTML. These browsers can display information however because of the very large number of web pages on internet people want a tool which can find the relevant web pages by just giving the simple requirements in simple language, hence the search engines e, g, google, yahoo and ask, were created to fulfill this need by indexing words on web pages and storing the information in a searchable database. Email Electronic mail is one of the most popular tools made available through the internet for information sharing. It is an efficient and effective means of network communication. You can call it as an electronic postal system. One of the most valuable features of communicating via email is that it is asynchronous, meaning the recipient need not be at a computer to receive the message you send. The message will be stored and available to be read when the recipient is ready to read it. In order to Send and receive email. You must have access to an email account. You may have your email account with your institution or with the popular email vendors like Hotrnad, Yahoo, MSN, Google, Gmail, or Rediff Mail. However, an email system can do more than just sending messages back and forth. Applications that may be 
built 011 the email infrastructure include multimedia mail database access document sharing fax routing scheduling etc online chatting online chat can refer to any kind of communication over internet but is primarily meant to refer to direct one on one chat or text based group chat formerly also known as synchronous conferencing using tools such as instant messaging applications like rediff yahoo and msn chat applications presently most of the online chat and messaging services are free on internet however some service providers are having paid services also there are many internet users replacing traditional conversation with online chat online chat is steadily replacing telephony as the means of office and home communication nowadays mobile handheld devices are also providing the technology for online voice or video chat electronic discussion groups there are a variety of electronic discussion groups on the internet like yahoo google and msn groups these groups are generally used to share information communicate ideas ask questions and solve problems on specific topics messages are communicated by the email address and through the group home page some groups are moderated and the human monitors the messages that are added to the list and distributed to the group some groups are unmoderated and every message submitted is included news groups in internet there exists another way to meet people and share information one such way is through usenet news groups these are special groups set up by people who want to share common interests ranging from current topics to cultural heritages there are currently thousands of usenet news groups news groups provide a free exchange of ideas opinions and comments usually confined to a specific interest news groups are an invaluable source of information you visit a news group read messages which provoke a response post new messages when you want to propose a topic and revisit when you want to see who responded unlike email there is no mail involved with news groups most of the activity occurs while you are online including reading and responding to messages for this reason most people find that news groups are more interactive and conversational than internet the usenet can be considered as another network of computers and people which are intertwined with the internet however usenet does not operate interactively like the internet instead usenet machines store the messages sent by users unlike mail from mailing lists the news articles do not automatically fill your electronic mailbox for accessing the information on usenet one needs a special type of program called a news reader This program help in retrieving only the news you want from Usenet storage site and display it on your terminal. Usenet is like a living thing. New news groups get added. The groups which have too much traffic get broken up into smaller specialized groups. The groups even can dissolve themselves. However, all of this occurs based on some commonly accepted rules and by voting. For Usenet, there is no enforcement body. It entirely depends on the cooperation of its computers owners and users. Blogging blog is a website where entries are written as commentary on news on a particular subject such as food, politics, or local news. Some function as more personal online diaries. A typical blog combines text, images, and links to other blogs, web pages, and other media related to its topic. The ability for readers to leave comments in an interactive format is an important part of many blogs. Most blogs are primarily textual, although some focus on art, photographs, videos and music and are part of a wider network of social media. Blogging is gaining popularity as it removes the technical barriers of writing and publishing online, which encourages students to keep a record of their ideas and thinking over time. Blogging also facilitates readers to give critical feedback on any topic.
readers can add comments, where readers can be teachers, other students or wider viewers. Teachers should investigate the potential of blogs, media sharing services and other social software, which can be used to create new learning opportunities. Students can also use the blogs as blog can provide a personal space online, to ask questions, comment on other questions, publish work, and link to other web sources. However, a blog need not be restricted to a single author, it can merge different kinds of ideas, including fellow students, teachers, and subject specialists. An example, http colon slash slash edu. Blogs com slash 1.3.2 internet tools and services to work with internet and to utilize some of the points mentioned about you need to use certain tools. For example, Telnet is a tool, which is utilized for logging on a remote computer. This section briefly discusses about some of the important tools and services. File transfer files and data are scattered all over the internet in large and small archives. Some of these may contain text pictures, graphics or sounds. If you want to get some file available on any other computer on internet, you have number of ways like, file can be emailed to you by someone from that side as an attachment or file can be uploaded to a website or FTP server for easy download by others. The file transfer protocol, FTP, was originally developed to allow internet users to share files across the internet. If you want to copy the file from FTP server, there is a standard tool on internet called FTP, file transfer protocol. However, for such transfer you need an account name on a host and the password. The FTP program will make a connection with the remote host, which will help you to browse its directories and mark files for transfer. However, you cannot look at the contents of a file, while you are connected via FTP. You have to transfer the copy and then look at it once it is on your own account. What will happen if you do not have an account on a remote internet host? For such cases FTP recognizes a special account name called Anonymous. Thus by using Anonymous FTP you can access a public archive on the internet and copy a file from there. Remote access the internet allows computer users to connect to other computers and information stores easily wherever they may be across the world. This is encouraging way of working from home, along with collaboration and information sharing. Imagine you are sitting at home and working on the lab computer of study center. Telnet was developed for terminals to access hosts across the internet. Telnet is a program that allows an internet host computer to become a terminal of another host on the internet. FTP opens a connection solely for transfer of files. However, Telnet allows you to become a user on a remote machine. You can run the internet computer programs available on that machine. This tool is specially useful for accessing public services such as library card catalogs, the kind of databases available on the machine etc. You can also log into any catalog service of a library and use it. Remote access was possible before the widespread use of the internet with Telnet. But the cost and reliability made many of them unpopular in practice. Nowadays one popular alternative for remote access is VPN, virtual private network, through which an office worker away from his desk, perhaps on the other side of the world on a business trip or a holiday, can open a remote desktop session into his normal office PC using a secure virtual private network, VPN, connection via the internet. This gives the worker complete access to all of his or her normal files and data, including email and other applications, while away from the office. Online services Many services are now provided on the internet such as online banking, career consultation, job seeking, online trading, purchasing tickets on Indian railways or for your favorite movie, guidance services on every aspect of life, and hotel reservations. Often these services are available offline and may cost you more. Broadly, the concept used for any type of commercial maneuvering or a business deal that involves the transfer of information across the globe via internet is called e-commerce. It has become a phenomenon associated with any kind of shopping, almost 
anything. Many online stores and sites can be used to look for products as well as buy them using credit card. You do not need to leave your house and can do all your shopping from the convenience of your home. Online resources Internet has become a treasure of information, where many online resources are freely available. There are some websites those are providing a facility of online dictionaries, Dictionary, Com, Webster, Oxford etc., which release us from carrying the bulky dictionaries. These online dictionaries are not only providing the meaning of words, VoIP Voice over Internet Protocol, VoIP, is a technology that lets you to make voice calls using an internet. One advantage of VoIP is that the calls over the internet do not gain a surcharge beyond what you are paying for internet access, in the same way as we do not pay for sending individual emails over the internet. Merging voice and data networks opens up a world of opportunities for better interaction between teachers and students. VoIP promotes online classes as it offers improved bandwidth utilization. Voice chat and video conferencing are now viable and cost-effective option for discussions between dispersed students and teachers. Podcasting Podcasting is the latest in internet technology. The term podcasting was inspired by Apple's iPod but any software and hardware application onto which you can download audio files will also work in the similar way. Podcasting is similar to a radio broadcast but the files are available for downloading from a website. Podcasting has become a popular technology in education because it provides a way of delivering educational content to learners. 1.4 Internet Components The Internet is a global collection of people computers, which are linked together by cables and telephone lines making communication possible among them in a common language. For connecting to the Internet, you need to have certain equipments. In brief, you must have a computer or modem and access to a telephone line or a local area network, LAN, that is in turn connected to the Internet and connection software that will allow you to establish an account with a service provider and access the internet in case of dial-up connection. A different device may be needed when accessing the internet through a direct line. These components of internet are broadly divided into two categories, software and hardware components. 1.4.1 Software Components it is important for you to know about the basic software components involved in accessing internet facility. Obviously, it goes without saying that the first software for internet access is the operating system. An operating system must be installed properly on your system, so that it can handle the driver requirements of the hardware components. Further, internet browsers, firewall. TCP IP are the basic components used during internet access. Let us discuss briefly about them. Internet Browser Browser is software that allows the user to access and read information on the World Wide Web. Internet Explorer, Mozilla, Netscape are the best known browsers. Spacetime 3D is new three-dimensional browser. Only browser is sufficient for working with the internet viz the browser software that should be loaded on all the clients. In fact, the browser is one of the very intelligent software that contributed to the growth of World Wide Web. A browser converts the standard hypertext markup language, HTML, web pages to a very sophisticated display with colors and pictures. Firewall as you have studied in CIT-01 course material, Internet has many security problems. Like hacking, Trojan horse, virus, etc. There are various tools to provide protection against unwanted access of your computer by anyone else, but the most popular among all security measures is the firewall. Firewall is a software that works on some set of rules and instructions given by you. A firewall helps to keep your computer more secure. It restricts information that comes to your computer from other computers, giving you more control over the data on your computer and providing a line of defense against people or programs, including viruses and worms, that try to connect to your computer without invitation. 
TCP/IP stack. TPIP stands for Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol. This is the group of protocols that define the internet and communication method used by it. Originally designed for the Unix operating system, TPIP software is now available for every major operating system. In order to be compatible to the internet, the computer must have TCP/IP compatible software. As stated earlier, the major advantage of internet is information sharing. Since in computers, bits and bytes are basic building blocks of information. Thus, one of the key aspects in network of many computers is to move bits between two specific computers. For such a communication, we require the address of the destination and a safe mean of moving data in the form of electronic signals. As far as safe movement of data is concerned, there exists a set of rules which governs the sending and receiving of data on the internet. A stack of protocols called PEEP, Transmission Control Protocol slash Internet Protocol, implements these rules. Its name reflects names of only two protocols called TCP and IP. For sending large block of text slash data to another machine, TCP divides the data into little data packets. It also adds special information e, g, the packet position, error correction code, etc. to make sure that packets at the destination can be reassembled correctly and without any damage to data. The role of IP here is to put destination addressing information on such packets. On internet, it is not necessary that all the packets will follow the same path from source to destination. A special device called router tries to load balance various paths that exist on networks. Other special devices called gateways allows different electronic networks to talk to internet that uses PEEP. 1.4.2 Hardware components Hardware components are used to connect with internet. These components may vary in case of standalone computer getting connected with internet, or a small network getting connected with internet. However, here we have discussed common hardware devices used in both the cases. Some of these topics we have already discussed till cause CRR01, and hence here we are just defining them in context to internet. Network Interface Card This card connects your computer to a network. The unique number is identified by this card in a network. This device is sometimes also called as Network Adapter Card. Any computer connected to the network has a Network Interface Card, NIC, which has the address, network it hosted, hard-coded into it. We have two types of Network Interface Cards external and internal. External network adapters do not require opening up your computer or installing special network cables in your home. You can plug an external network adapter into a USB port on your computer. External network adapters are the fastest and easiest way to set up your home network. Internal network adapters are installed in an expansion slot inside your computer. Most computers come with internal network interface card. Modem Modem is a device that lets computer information to be transmitted and received on a telephone line. The sender modem translates digital computer data into analog signals that can be carried over a telephone line. The receiver modem translates the analog signals back to digital form, modulation and DE modulation. Modems are of two types, internal and external. Internal modems are PCI cards and external modems are kept outside of your computer, connected either by a USB or serial port. Internal modems are good for general usage, as they take up less desk space, and do not require a power supply, and for most purposes, internal modems work fine. External modems tend to be slightly more expensive than internal modems. Many experts consider them superior because they contain lights which indicate how the modem is functioning. In addition, they can easily be moved from one computer to another. However, they do use up one COM port. 
Communication link We have different type of communication links available to connect with internet. Some of these you have already discussed in the eat all. Mainly the twisted pair, coaxial cable, optical fiber and wireless links used to be connected with internet. Router to handle and route the data to the destination An important networking device is used called as router. Routers are essential for computers on different physical networks to communicate with each other. Routers maintain a map of the physical networks on a internet, network, and forward data received from one physical network to other physical networks. However, you need not to worry about this device, as it is maintained by internet providers. I hub you may need to install and configure this device, if you are making a small network either at home or at the office. Hub is a common connection point for devices in a network. Typically used to connect segments of a local area network, LAN, a hub contains multiple ports. When data arrives at one port, it is copied to the other ports so that all segments of the run can see the data. 1.4.3 Internet Authorities The Internet is a cooperative endeavor much like the worldwide telephone network. No single organization is responsible for all aspects of the Internet. In addition, Internet has no president or chief operating officer and is governed by a number of authorities. The ultimate authority of Internet rests with Internet Society, ISOC, a voluntary membership organization. The purpose of this organization is to promote global interchange of information. To uniquely identify any internet device, a unique number is assigned. To ensure this, a central authority issues the IP address. It is a 32-bit address used to identify an electronic device like computer on internet. IP address is made up of the network ID plus unique host ID. An organization or individual wanting to connect to the Internet needs to contact local ISP, Internet Service Provider for details see below. For obtaining a unique IP address at the global level, Internet Assigned Number Authority, IANA, allocates a network ID. Network ID is a number used for generating a range of IP addresses to the ISP. Internet Engineering Task Force, IETF discusses the technical and operational problems on Internet. Internet service providers cooperate with each other, the NSF and ARPA and equipment vendors to provide ubiquitous connectivity. The sum of these cooperative efforts is the worldwide Internet, which appears to each user as a seamless universal access network to global Internet resources. 1.4.4 Internet Service Provider Whether you are part of RAN or you are trying to connect to the Internet as a single user, you will likely gain access to the Internet via an Internet Service Provider, ISP. ISPs are companies which allow you to connect to their computers, which in turn are connected to the Internet. ISPs are usually local companies that provide individuals and small companies with all the requirements to allow user to connect to the Internet. This may include software, domain names, usernames and connectivity. Internet is organized to form a hierarchy. At the top, there is a very high speed backbone and at the other end, there are users. There are network access providers, NAP, and Internet Service Providers, ISP, at the intermediate level as shown in the figure 5. Look at TT he screen. Figure 5 architecture of internet a home user dials into the isp for example bsnl mtnl airtel and reliance wireless isp using net connected device may be using a twisted pair telephone connection using a modem the isp connects to one of the network access providers which in turn connects to the high speed backbone at a network access point Network access point serves the purpose of connecting backbone networks to provide connectivity between end users. 1.5 Internet addresses We can classify the computers connected with Internet in two categories, servers and clients. A server is a computer with the capacity to provide connectivity and sharing to multiple personal computers or clients. Any computing device you use to access the Internet, 
which is specifically set up to serve its files to client computers. The files that a server makes available to your computer can be web pages, videos, sounds, images, etc. for your home computer to be able to receive files or any data from a server. Your computer must request this information. This happens when you enter an URL in your browser or when you receive email. When we work on internet we come across different types of addresses used for different purposes, like web address, IP address, email address. Each one has a special syntax and meaning. It is important for you to know about these addresses before you start working on internet. 1.5.1 Web Address An internet or web address, sometimes called a URL, or uniform resource locator typically is composed of four parts as shown in Table 1. A protocol name, a protocol is a set of rules and standards that enable computers to exchange information, the location of the site, the name of the organization that maintains the site, a suffix that identifies the kind of organization it is, such as com for a commercial organization table 1, components of an internet address, HTTP, web server uses hypertext transfer protocol, HTTP, www site is on the world wide web, ignore web server is at ignore, AC website belongs to an academic institution. In it belongs to India. When you are viewing a web page, the page's address appears in the address bar in Internet Explorer. Hosts, user, and local networks are grouped together into domains, which are grouped into one or more larger domains. For an analogy, a host computer is considered as an apartment building in a housing complex and your account is just an apartment in it. Domain may be an apartment complex, a town, or even a country. Subdomains may correspond to organizations such as NASA or CompuServe. Domains are classified as non-geographic and geographic lists various common domain names. Table 2. The domain names in India come under a larger domain in. Table 2. Some non-geographic and geographic domains Non-geographic domains code applicable for .com commercial organizations 6.net network organizations .ijhov parts of governments .ac organizations of higher education .mil non-classified military networks .org organizations that do not fit the commercial or educational designations Geographic domains country and domain name Australia.au China.cn Germany .del India .in Japan .jp United Kingdom UK United States US 1.5.2 IP address The internet layer is an important layer in the protocol suite. At this layer, TCP IP supports internet protocol IP. This layer is responsible for the format of datagrams as defined by IP and routing and forwarding a datagram or packet to the next hop. You know hop is a term that can be used to represent any computing device on internet like router, gateway computer etc. The primary goal of the internet is to provide an abstract view of the complexities involved in it. Internet must appear as single network of computers. At the same time network administrators or users must be free to choose hardware or various internetworking technologies like Ethernet, token ring etc. Different networking technologies have different physical addressing mechanisms. Therefore, Identifying a computer on internet is a challenge. To have uniform addressing for computers over the internet, IP defines an IP address, which is a logical address. IP address is a 32 bits number, can be represented in decimal e. g. 192.168.32.10. Now, when a computer wants to communicate to another computer on the internet, it can use logical address and is not bothered with the physical address of the destination and hence the format and size of data packet. IP address is a basic address used by the lower architecture of Internet. It is important for you to know that 
any address you type as web address or email address actually gets converted into the equivalent IP address of a machine or computer where the server or resource is available. Web address or email addresses are used for easiness of human beings otherwise, it is just a burden for network. 1.5.3 Email address As you have studied earlier that email is one of the popular services used by people in their daily life. The following can be a typical email address format on internet for any email service provider like Gmail, Rediff, Yahoo, MSN, or any network, domain, name etc. The username in general is the name assigned or chosen during creation of an email account. Subdomain R domain we have already discussed in above section. In case of private service provider it is generally its own name like abc at yahoo.com abc at yahoo co in abc at gmail com etc in domain names it is essential to have non-geographic domain name however sometime you can see both kind of domains non-geographic and geographic domains let's take an example to better understand an email address in an email address navin at ignore ac in navin indicates the username the subdomain named ignore Indira Gandhi National Open University which is an academic organization AC and is situated in country India in 1.6 let's connect to internet you need access to the internet tailies may either be from a dial up direct line over coaxial cable fiber optic or copper wires Wi-Fi satellite and cell phones until Recently, the two primary methods of accessing the internet were through a direct connection, allowing users of local area networks, LANs, to go online through their school or workplace systems, and dial-up connections through a modem and phone line. Let's discuss these methods in detail. 1.6.1 Direct Connection This is a permanent connection, which can be set up over a high speed. Communication link. This is normally used in organizations and corporate, using cable. Modem, used for cable internet, and DSL connect to the internet. This kind of connection is established between your RAN server and the internet host slash server. You may request for a connection as and when desired from your RAN server. It may have a direct line or may dial the number of the internet server to establish a link. In current years, high-speed connections have gained in popularity. These include cable, digital subscriber lines, usually known as DSL, and integrated services digital network, ISDN. This dedicated high-speed connection is best suited for larger organizations which have to serve many internal and external customers this kind of link allows you to become information provider around the clock this connection allows full connectivity to internet however because of organization's own security privacy or policy reasons you may choose not to use all the connectivity features 1.6.2 dial-up connection Dial-up connection is the most common form of connectivity because all they require is that the users have a phone line which almost everyone does. However, because they rely on phone lines which have limited transmission capacity, dial-up modems are very slow. In addition, for dial-up connection to the internet, you need to have a computer account on an ISP. For using the account, you must provide the host machine with the username and password. Recently some broadband services are started by BSNL and MTNL in India. The broadband connection offers more exciting multimedia applications through internet, such as audio, video, dynamic animation, etc. The difference between these high-speed connections and dial-up modems does not lie only in the amount of information that is transportable via the connection but unlike dial-up connections, these methods of connectivity do not tie up phone lines or other vital services. As a result, 
users are able to keep them connected at all times, without tying up their phone. 1.6.3 Setup Internet Connection This section will show you how to set up your computer so that you can connect to internet using dial-up internet connection. We are using Windows XP for explaining you about the internet connection. However, other Windows operating systems are having similar internet connection wizard. We are assuming an example of home user who wishes to use a dial-up connection through telephone line. You can follow the given steps if you want to connect to internet with us. Step 1. Open your start menu and select control panel. Step 2. When control panel window is opened, choose the network and internet connection icon. Step 3. Now open network connection. Step 4. Click on a link create a new connection, which is shown in the boundary in the given figure. Step 5. You will see the new connection wizard. After click on create a new connection. To continue, click the next button. Step 6. Connection wizard will ask you the network connection types which you want to choose. As we are assuming an example of home user who wishes to use a dial-up connection through telephone line, we will choose connect to the internet option. Step 7. We assume that we know be the ISP provider and we do not have any CD for installing automatically. Hence, we select set up my connection manually option. Step 8. We are using a dial-up modem hence we win select the first option as given below in the figure. Step 9. Enter BSNL, Bharat Sanchal Nigam Limited, into the Internet Service Provider, ISP, box then click the next button to continue. Step 10. Enter the telephone number with STD code given by ISP for dial-up connection to internet in the text box phone number. For example, we have typed a phone number 01202445218. Step 11. Enter your USA Mami and password into the provided boxes and then click the next button to continue. You must confirm your password in the confirm password box. Step 12. Click the checkbox to add. A shortcut to this connection to the desktop. Click the finish button step 13. After completing the new connection wizard you can check the dial-up connection icon has appeared in network connection window. Step 14. To open the properties of dial-up connection that you named BSNL, right click the icon of BSNL. Step 15. You can check and make the setting of this dial-up connection according to your need. Like you can adjust security parameters according to your needs. In addition, there are some networking and advanced options available which you can try. 1.7 Summary This unit is an effort towards answering some of the fundamental queries about an internet, a network of networks where a lot of information exists and is meant to be utilized by you. We have tried to give an overview of how to connect to internet and what you can do on internet. With number of advantages of internet, it has some disadvantages and problems. As, if you use the internet, your personal details like name, address, phone number, etc. can be accessed by other people. If you use a credit on internet, then your credit card details can also be stolen which could be similar to giving someone a blank check. Further, spamming is emerging as severe trouble which refers to sending unsolicited emails in bulk, which serves no purpose and needlessly block up the complete system. In addition, pornography is a serious matter concerning the internet, particularly when it comes to immature children. It is expected that the brief overview of the internet which this unit has attempted to provide will introduce internet without a lot of technical background. The next unit of this block will help you to understand the web browser in detail because ultimately browser is the only aperture through which you can see the internet. Thank you, subscribe to our channel for more updates, and we will see you with the next chapter.